Hello, this is an EUS FNA of an adenocarcinoma of the pancreas, and we are looking at the hemocolor stained air dried smear. You can see that this smear is moderately cellular, and as we zoom into the area of lesional tissue, we can see some cohesive sheets of cells and the cells appear to be somewhat disorganized. They are not arranged in a very regimented honeycomb arrangement. There is also some degree of variation, relatively mild in nuclear size. And here again, we can see some areas here where there is nuclear overlapping. And over here, some of the cells have somewhat lower NC ratios. This is what we would call a drunken honeycomb appearance, where you sort of still have um, an architecture that is reminiscent of a honeycomb, but somewhat jumbled up and slightly disorganized. And moving downwards, we can see more lesional tissue here. Some of the nuclei exhibit irregular nuclear membranes, and we can see that the cytoplasm varies quite a bit in volume. In some areas, it is quite low. In other areas, the cells have quite abundant cytoplasm. It is not uncommon to have quite a low NC ratio in pancreatic adenocarcinoma cells. Let's take a look at the alcohol-fixed smear. And here is the corresponding papanicolaou stained alcohol-fixed smear. Again, we can see these drunken honeycomb sheets of cells or these very disorganized, crowded sheets of cells. And some of the cells do indeed have quite low NC ratios. The nuclei vary moderately in size. Here is a crowded group and you can see the nuclear membranes are irregular. This particular case does not show very prominent nucleoli. You can just about make out some small nucleoli in the nuclei. However, sometimes the nucleoli can be fairly prominent. And um, in these cells, we can see that the cytoplasm is vacuolated and quite pale. Again here, we can see that the cytoplasm is abundant and vacuolated and relatively pale. Take note of this very disorganized, jumbled up arrangement of the nuclei. And we will contrast this to normal benign glandular cells in the next example. So it's important to take note of this very disorganized architecture. Here we can see a dispersed, highly atypical cell with two nuclei and prominent nucleoli, the presence of these dispersed, singly occurring cytologically malignant cells supports the diagnosis of invasive adenocarcinoma, even though we are not able to definitively see stromal invasion or desmoplasia. Usually, we diagnose malignancy where there is sufficient architectural disruption this organization, nuclear pleomorphism, and this is also, again, as mentioned, supported by the presence of the single isolated cytologically malignant cells in the background. Here is a different case, and again, we are looking at the papanicolaou stained smear, and here we have side by side a very nice contrast. These two groups are those of benign pancreatic ductal glandular cells and you can see that even though the nuclei overlap somewhat, they are still arranged in a very even manner, a very uniform arrangement. And often in pancreatic ductal cells, the cells at the periphery tend to have more elongated nuclei as you can see. And we can contrast this with this cluster of malignant cells. First of all, the architecture is more disorganized and crowded. And secondly, the nuclei are much larger. They overlap each other. And we can also see that the nuclear membranes are irregular. And this case has very prominent nucleoli. So very clearly, we are looking at two cell populations, the benign pancreatic ductal cells, which have a honeycomb architecture, very uniform nuclei, and the ductal adenocarcinoma cells, where the architecture is more disorganized, the nuclei are much larger, have more irregular nuclear membranes, 
show a greater degree of pleomorphism and have very prominent nucleoli. These very small uniform cells with eccentric round nuclei and arranged in small SNR patterns, these actually represent pancreatic SNR cells, and we can sometimes see them in little isolated rounded groups, or we can sometimes see them in large tissue fragments embedded within the stroma. Here is a honeycomb sheet of duodenal epithelial cells, and we often see these cells in head of pancreas lesions where the needle traverses the transduodenal root. Again, strikingly uniform and honeycomb in arrangement, and also the nuclei are very uniform in size. We can even see that the polarity of the nuclei is maintained in this strip of columnar cells. And here is another side-by-side -side comparison of this group here of honeycomb glandular cells, which is benign, with a very regular honeycomb arrangement and also very uniform nuclei. They are all the same size as each other, and the nuclear membranes are very regular and round. Here is, in contrast, a sheet of malignant glandular cells where you can see the disorganization, nuclear overlapping, crowding, these are the architectural features. And when we look at the cytomorphology, the nuclei are much larger compared to the benign glandular cells. They also appear to have coarser chromatin and in some areas, prominent nucleoli. And here is a small little cluster of SNI. So we have two pancreatic SNI here. And you can see again the difference in the nuclear size in the malignant cells versus the benign cells. Here is the corresponding histology showing core biopsies of the case that we just saw. And we can see that within these cores of stroma, there are different appearing glandular structures. Over here, we can see that the glandular structures are lined by relatively uniform cuboidal cells with small round nuclei. These represent part of the atrophic elements of the benign pancreas, whereas in contrast, we have these very irregular glandular structures that are lined by cells with much larger hyperchromatic nuclei with a degree of nuclear stratification. And let me show you one more area Here is another area where we can clearly see these very irregular small nests. In some areas, they're not even forming glands anymore of cytologically malignant cells invading into the stroma. Hence, in summary, in pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma, we often get large, disorganized, cohesive sheets of malignant cells. And in some of them, you can discern a pattern that is reminiscent of honeycomb but is more disorganized and we sometimes refer to this as a drunken honeycomb pattern. The cells usually exhibit nuclear enlargement, irregular nuclear membranes, variation in nuclear size, and variably prominent nucleoli. And one more feature to note in pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma is that the NC ratios can vary quite a bit. Sometimes the cells can have high NC ratios and scanned cytoplasm. However, in other cell sheets, we may actually see cells with quite abundant cytoplasm and low NC ratios. It is also fairly common to see cytoplasmic vacuoles, which may or may not contain mucin. Thank you.